So in this video, I'm gonna give you a little tour inside my fridge at home and what every footballer should have in their fridge if they're actually looking to optimize their performance. Now, hopefully this will give you some ideas on how to fuel yourselves optimally. And what I'll also do is actually give you access to an approved foods list towards the end of the video to take all the guesswork away from you. So make sure you stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get access to a free additional information that only subscribers get. All right, so now let's start with hydration. My water bottles are filled up from a filtered tap that I've installed inside of my kitchen, but if you can't do that, there's another option. You can buy a water filter, and a brand that we recommend is called AquaTrue, and I'll put that in the description below. Look, filter water is important because the contaminants inside the tap water could bring your power balance down. Now, I also then try and drink a lot of fruit juices and coconut water, as you can see here. And because I'm sure a lot of you might get slightly overwhelmed in terms of the amount of carbohydrates you need to eat and consume on a daily basis. So that's why we don't really recommend players drink a lot of plain water. And if you're thirsty, try going for some fruit juices or coconut water. It's just gonna make it so much easier for you to hit your numbers throughout the day. And this is also such a great source of vitamins and minerals. So as you can see here, I've got some raw cheeses like this one, some kefir in terms of my dairy preferences. Raw cheese is great because you know, not always raw dairy is available where you are, then you can normally always find some raw cheese. And how do you know if raw dairy is available where you are? Well, you can actually go to a website called www.realmilk.com and it'll give you a whole list of places worldwide where, they, where you can find actually raw dairy and raw milk. Now, I also have some white rice batch cooked. This is when I want to make a meal. All I have to do is throw a piece of protein in the pan, add some rice, and voila, I'm done. In terms of fruits, um, I like to snack on Apples, pears, pineapple, these are great for obvious reasons, get your carbohydrate numbers up, lots of vitamins and minerals. Now, raw honey is also a fantastic addition with loads of vitamins and minerals and unique healing properties. I also like to cook with either ghee butter, as I've spoken about numerous amounts of times, or some olive oil, which is from the farmer's market. So in the bottom freezer here, I have all my frozen berries, blueberries, raspberries, mixed berries. I have this as like a snack or a dessert. I just put a bottle of kefir or half a bottle of kefir into a bowl, mix up with some berries, unflavored collagen, a couple of tablespoons of raw honey, and for me, it just tastes amazing. All right, so now this is from my second freezer. My personal preference is normally to have minced meat for lunch pretty much every day because it's so nutrient dense with critical nutrients, especially in the fat, which is great for hormone optimization. It has some unique properties from the cartilage of the animal, that actually gets minced inside. Then for dinner, I would either go for some chicken breast or I'll go for some white fish. And as you can see, it's all conveniently packed in single serving sizes, taking the guesswork out from me. I just simply take it out, put it in the pan, and I'm done. I also normally have bone broth as well to show you, but I haven't got it at the moment. I just cook a big batch, put them in little glass bottles, and then freeze them also so I can just take them out and heat it up whenever I want. Now, bone marrow is also a staple for me, and I haven't spoken about it enough. It's another great source of unique peptides that are beneficial for performance. Now, you can either put this under the grill and put on some sourdough bread, or what I do, I throw it in my soup in terms of my bone broth. All right, so we're in the pantry now. Pretty simple. The only thing that I really take from this pantry is the root vegetables in terms of potatoes, pumpkin, sweet potatoes. Some, sometimes having the white rice semolina, have the white rice as well. Disregard any nuts if you see here, they're just props to show you guys what not to eat. But there you have it. In terms of the pantry, it's pretty simple. It's just where the root vegetables are housed and the white rice. So there you have it. I think the key is to keep it simple. And remember that you're actually eating for performance and any system that you can create that actually gives you the best chance of sticking to it is gonna be the best one for you. So take what you can from what you've seen in this video and create your own. Now, all these foods are from the approved Football Power Diet Approved Foods list, which you can actually get in the description below. There's a link, so make sure you go get that. And remember that these foods are nutrient dense, highly bioavailable, and low in toxins and low in anti-nutrient content. That's the formula that we think and follow in terms of performance foods. So thanks for watching, and don't hit, forget to hit that subscribe button so we can continue to pull more resources into videos like this and helping you guys reach your genetic potential.